Hey gang, and happy opening day of the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival 2024. Today, there are so many new topiaries, a lot of new food, and it happens to be my favorite festival here at Epcot, so you know we're gonna have a fantastic time. The only thing that will make it a little bit better is if you guys come along. It's based off our name. And it is already a beautiful day here at Epcot, but the first thing we must do is get one of our festival passports right here. Look at that. It's going from February 28th to May 27th. And each year at this Flower and Garden Festival, they do have a thing called the Garden Graze. It's kind of grazing through the festival and then at the end of it, you get a free special treat. So we're gonna do that again this year. We're gonna try to conquer the full Garden Graze. There are eight different choices of food items we can choose from, but we only have to complete five of them in order to get our free prize. And what's so cool about the Garden Graze, everything is vegan on it. And even if you're someone like me who is not vegan, it's some of the best options at the festival, flavor-wise and price-wise. And it's just fun to try something new that you wouldn't normally try. So we at least have to get five of these items to complete the full graze. So we better get going. Let's get to grazing. Can I get the avocado toast, please? All right, so we're gonna get our first stamp after you pay. And so as you can see, I got my first little stamp. It's a little pear. Our first stop is over here at Brunch Cot and we are getting the avocado toast. It's with marinated tomatoes and plant-based cheese crumbles on a toasted ciabatta for $6. It is always good to start the festival with a little brunch, especially when it looks as beautiful like this. I mean, have you ever been served avocado toast that has flowers on this? I told you guys that everything on the Garden Graze is vegan, but I promise you will not be missing the protein. I'd really hate to mess this up but we gotta do it, we gotta ruin it. Let's try to get a little tomato, a little avocado. And let's, let's listen to the crunch here. It's just so refreshing. So, so delicious. And you would not know that this is vegan cheese crumbles at all. So, so good. Really great way to start out this graze. And before we continue on this graze, we gotta go check out one of the brand new topiaries that they just dropped this year. And check out this new Groot statue. He is so perfect to incorporate into the Flower Garden Festival. He is a full topiary tree topped with his Greenhouse Mix Volume 1. I love how the tape cassette is even moving. So much fun with this new topiary. Let's grab our next graze item really quick and then we'll have a little bit of a story time about why I love the topiary so much here at Epcot. And our next stop is over here at the Farmer's Feast to get their grilled street corn on the cob. It's served with savory garlic spread and a plant-based cheese for $5.75. And check them out over here. This most certainly is grilled street corn. They are warming them up fresh right here on the barbecue. And we got our second stamp here and it's actually a little piece of corn. So it's very, very appropriate for our next dish. I mean, check this thing out. You can see the grill marks on it. And hey, thanks so much. <laughs> um, there's so many of you saying hi today, which I love. So always stop and say hi, even if I'm about to chow down on some delicious corn. They have to use a plant-based butter too. Cause that's another thing. I was like, how are they gonna make delicious corn? You have to have butter on the corn, but they sure found a way. And you guys would not believe this, but it tastes very, very corny. And this is definitely gonna take me a little bit to eat. So now I'm gonna give you that little topiary story time I was telling you about. At the beginning of the video, I told you that the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival is my favorite festival. And that's because it's mainly the one that I grew up with being a Florida local and being a little kid here. Of course, being a little child, I wasn't really interested in the food and wine festival. The Festival of the Arts didn't even exist yet. So Flower and Garden was where it was at if you were a kid and I remember the first time I came here, my mom can vouch for this. The first time I came here and saw a topiary for the first time, which I had never seen plants and flowers and trees molded into art. And I was so obsessed 
that when we went home, my mom was looking for me and she found me outside with the kitchen shears cutting the bushes in our lawn. I was trying to become an Epcot topiary artist. Little did I know that's not really how they do it, but years later, the topiaries are really the thing that just keep me coming back. I think that they are so stunning, so beautiful, so creative. And the fact that now this has also kind of become a food and wine fest, I get to reap the benefits as an adult seeing beautiful moments like this <laughs> here at Epcot. And another thing that means a lot to me is finishing this graze so we can get our free prize. So I think now is the time we're actually gonna head into the World Showcase. Our first stop in the World Showcase is over at the Trowel and Trellis, and this is their Impossible Farmhouse Meatball. It's with lentil bread, spinach, marinated vegetables, and creamy herb aioli for $6. And I also decided to get one of their alcoholic beverages. This is the Raspberry and Lemon Herbal Tea with Gin. It's Twining's Raspberry and Lemon Tea with Simple Limeade and Gin for $12. And it is impossible that there is an Impossible Meatball in there. It does look a little bit tiny for $6. I think out of the other things I got today so far, the portion size was a little bit better than this. This is going to give me that meat and protein vibes that I've been missing. But I'm happy I pulled the trigger on this $12 drink because look how cute. They even serve it in a little souvenir glass. Let's give it a try first before we head into the meatball. Okay, I think I like the flavor. Something has happened to me ever since I went to England this past year. I all of a sudden like gin. What I don't love is that there are some like floaty kind of lemonade things inside that you suck through the straw. So that's not my favorite. I might just try to drink it like not with a straw. Yes. <laughs> and there's the gin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> much stronger but much better just drinking it not from a straw because I don't like the little bits that are in it. I'm trying to figure out how to eat this thing. Do I keep the little shish kebab in there? Speaking of shish kebab, shh, there are so many birds above me, you guys. I'm kind of concerned, actually, that I might get shish kebab on right now. Let's take a bite of this meatball before that happens. That is so, so delicious. I really wasn't sure if I was gonna like the wrap that it was in. I was kind of planning on, planning on taking the meatball out of it and just eating it like that but it almost, it's giving me like non. So if you like kind of like Moroccan non vibes, it's like a little pesto pocket with the meatball. Again, I cannot believe that it's vegan, especially like the aioli sauce on there. I feel like there has to be dairy in that. That is so dang good. What do you guys think? Let me show you. What do you guys think up there? Huh? Hey guys, what do you think up there? You think you want some of this meatball? You can't have my meatball. It's my meatball. And yes, we did get our third stamp there, which is a meatball, which now I'm realizing they're stamping us everything that we're getting. At first I was calling, I think this a pear, but no, it was the avocado for the avocado toast, the corn for the corn on the cob, and then a brown dot for that meatball. And the more that I get into this drink, I'm not loving it. I am loving I get to take a little souvenir cup home with me, but you can get this non-alcoholic as well for a lot cheaper, about half the price. So I would just do that if you want a little souvenir mug to go. Now we've actually backtracked a little bit back to the citrus blossom here, and that's because one of the other booths, the Florida Fresh, has not opened yet in the World Showcase, and they're giving the goods out here. So it's a combined booth here, it's citrus blossom and Florida Fresh, at least for opening day today. And our Gray's item over here is the Florida Strawberry Shortcake served with vegan whipped cream for $5. What do you guys think our stamp was for the strawberry shortcake? Of course, a strawberry. Now the presentation of the strawberry shortcake, I am not too pleased about, um, but hopefully the flavor can please us very much so. The one thing I will say, that cream does not look like vegan whipped cream. It looks like full on fat whipped cream. We gotta get a strawberry, a little bit of the shortcake. It 
it actually tastes a lot better than it looks. And I think for $5, the portion is on point. It's just not a looker. She's a taster. She is fresh, delicious, strawberry shortcake. And if you do not want to do the garden grays and eat vegan, you can get lobster. What is this? Ham and lamb. This is veal. What oh, is veal, lamb. lobster, and lamb. Of course, Kristen's doing the good stuff. Check out her channel to see not the garden grays, all this other delicious goodness. Now, I will say there is another delicious whipped cream strawberry treat here at the festival, but it's not on the garden grays. And that is the frushi. And I kind of wish I just would have skipped over that strawberry shortcake and went for the frushi. It would be so easy for them to make the frushi vegan because it's pretty much already vegan. You just need to make that whipped cream the same vegan whipped cream that's on the strawberry shortcake but we are gonna get the fruit sheet. It's my favorite thing at the festival, even though it's not a part of the Grays. We're gonna head back to the World Showcase, maybe hit the German Pavilion and get the potato pancakes. And you know, we're not leaving the festival without the fruit sheet. And making our way through Mexico now, I'm definitely seeing a brand new topiary I've never seen before. Check out this Miguel topiary with all the little moss on his hat. This is so, so stunning the way that they did it and perfect perfect entry into Mexico. We are running into the fabulous Phoebe and now Hello. you're making me very jealous that I'm doing the vegan garden grays oh, with so what sorry. you've got in here. Okay, but honestly though, I would, I think you're not missing out on the most. Okay. So this is the basically tamala rajas, I think. Oh, That's what it's called. It's a tamale, So it's a tamale guys. and it has like poblano cream and cheese and pickled onions and carrot on top. This is really good, but not. it doesn't have It's like not a, blowing your mind. It's not blowing my mind. It needs a crunchy element to it. Like yes. there's no crunch whatsoever. I can and see then, that. Honestly, I would like it if it was stuffed with chicken too. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so. let's give a little bit more protein. The portion, yeah. the portion does look good, but you are making me jealous, really jealous. I feel like you they could make it. this vegan. I it? will smell it. No, <laughs> I can eat it, Phoebe. I'm just doing the vegan right. thing for fun. Right. Now these topiaries, I do think I could recreate create. If you can just keep a shape of a sphere or a ball, you can also make a Mickey Mouse topiary in your backyard. And we finally made it fully into the World Showcase over here in Germany at the Bauernmark. This is also on the Grays. It's the potato pancakes. It's served with house-made applesauce for $5.25. And there it is, our final stamp before our free festival treat, two little potatoes. And here are the potato pancakes. They are definitely not lookers, but every single time I get these, I really, really like them. They remind me of like a Jewish latka, which is also a potato pancake. You serve it with applesauce or sour cream, and for $5.25, I think it's an amazing portion. Mm. I feel like there's like chopped up onion too with the potato. And do you guys see the crust? Like how they like fry the little cakes? So it has this like crunch to it with like a potato. Very similar to like a hash brown but with the applesauce, it's just so weird, so different, and I love it every single time. And these are definitely some topiaries that I remember seeing as a little kid that sparked my imagination. Look how stunning Snow White and the Seven Dwarves are. Making our way into Japan now, I consider the bonsai one of the first topiaries of all time. Look at this one. Bending with nature, bending around that table there. And look how beautiful these are as well. They definitely are plants that have been trimmed and cut to perfection. And the coolest topiary here is definitely right on the water, the full on succulent dragon with Spaceship Earth in the background. And of course, you know we are here for Hanami to get the frushi. It's strawberry, pineapple, and lychee wrapped in a coconut rice and pink soy wrap served with whipped cream drizzled raspberry sauce and toasted coconut for $7.75. If you eat frushi with a fork, nah, bro. Got it. Nah. Nah, bro. And then I did this once and people told me that this was like disrespectful. I and thought, I'm like, I, I don't want to get like splinters in my mouth. You. And these girls are sharing. So really you guys We're should We're sharing be, the frushi. I don't I share. I don't love the frushi. 
Me and Promise ate this together, what, the past two or three years? Yes, mine So well. it's only right that we eat it together again, and this time we have a new guest joining us. Wow, so we'll be so out honored. here. What if so we could have here. the Frushi and a Saki box? Yo. Combine it at the same time. The ultimate Japan booth combo. One right. time I got three Frushis and I ate all of them. Like I don't in know a video. You like it like much. Probably that it's good. Because but not it's that good. so refreshing, so unique, and it's just a must get at Flower and Garden. Sure, so let's girls, get a bite. Okay. grab a bite. You can take one of mine. I guess I'm you can kidding, take I'm one kidding. of mine. I guess. <laughs> I was I was about to say I Did that. you see mine? Did you see me like I thought Alice was gonna like slap my hand oh, out well, of the way. Hold on, I'm gonna try a different one because I just screwed that one. Okay. Out. It's yeah, okay. I want the smaller There's piece no here. wrong way you to gotta eat a fruity get, baby. You gotta get the, the like raspberry sauce in there. Yeah, you raspberry get that sauce. Whipped cream, sure. It's really not good. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. 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 Thank it. Mm. It's so mid. It's <laughs> so weird that it's good. It's just the weirdest thing ever. It's so mid. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. Too much rice. beautiful? No, you can never have too many carbs, especially when they're covered in pink soy wrap. I love it so much. Okay, either way, I think the Frushi is mid. Promise loves it. Phoebe, what's your analysis? I'm middle ground. Do you think it's mid as well? This is just nope. my first round. I'm gonna go get a second. No, All right, I'm see you later. Ground. If you really wanna learn how to be a topiary artist, you can come right here and get your own topiary to grow at home. They even have a Mickey, a little bunny, an elephant, and even a turtle. You can see some of the greens have already started to grow on top. I think these are a great little deal. How much is the Mickey going for? About $60.99 to create your own little Mickey topiary at home. And we have finally made a full circle around the World Showcase heading into the United Kingdom here now. And they have one of my favorite topiaries, which is Miss Tink and her cute self. Of course, all the Pixie Hollow houses all made out of different acorns and birch and wood and stones and even the captain himself and peter pan have made their debut and they're dueling mosses do you guys see the up close on some of these topiaries it is just absolutely genius what they have done to create these characters and i think it's been a genius of a day doing this garden graze and now we get to get our free treat. The only thing I didn't get in the World Showcase that is also on the Garden Grays is their Tres Leches cake. It's made with three different types of vegan milks. And if you love regular Tres Leches cake, I promise you will love this. But between the strawberry shortcake and the frushi, I just couldn't do it because our final free treat is actually a treat. So let's go check it out at the Pineapple Promenade. Yes, my free festival treat, please. Of course. Thank you! So with that, you're gonna get one redemption. You're gonna get a packet of seeds. Oh, I love it. Seeds, That's awesome! And a lime dole whip in a festival cup. I love it. So, this is what we're getting it's the Garden Grace Festival Treat, a lime dole whip with one minimade, redemption. lemonade, mango, and smoothie mix. And we get some wildflowers. We can go and grow them at our house. I got my festival treat here, my free festival treat. And look who it is it's another treat. It's Adam the Woo here. I was saying the last time he was here, he was doing a little drawing on me for Festival of the Arts. You were, you were sweating a lot that day. I see. You wore the long sleeve. Because I was in a hoodie. Sweater. Yeah. Exactly. But now cool. this will cool me off it's for sure. Quickly. It is it's melting. I know. I gotta. I gotta eat it quickly. But this is our treat, you guys. We did it. We did the full garden graze. And truthfully, nothing is better, you guys, than making a full lap around the festival on opening day and then ending with a free Dole Whip and an adorable souvenir glass. And check out this other new topiary I'm seeing here of Goofy. He's blowing some dandelions. That is so cute, especially to see a plant in action, in movement. And of course the flower hill right here is the beloved, most looked at flowers of the festival. So it's a perfect way to exit the park. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> One more thing before we go. I have not met Walt up close and personal yet. And usually there's a long line and there's no line to meet him. I can come and sit down and have a little chat with him about the festival. Hi, Mr. Walt. 
I've been waiting to say hello to you. I have not been this up close in person since you got here. And I just wanted to thank you for this glorious park and my favorite festival. And what an amazing day it was. And it's all because of you, bud. And as always, with Mr. Walt here from Epcot in the opening of the Flower and Garden Festival. Peace, love, and positivity, and all the good things. Love you guys. Bye.